Ain't never did nothing to nobody. Wouldn't hurt a fly. Never did or, or rob nobody, did nobody dirty, none of that. Ryan Leslie is a genius who multiple different artists are pub have publicly said that this dude has helped them to pioneer what it is that they do from a monetization perspective when it comes to the music industry. And he never got the visibility that he deserved as far as his musical genius and wh why he should be celebrated, not only for what he does musically, but also what he does as far as financially and from his business perspective. Genius. One of those guys that, you know, just he was right there on the cusp. But he never really got the accolades, probably got the money, but never got the accolades. But guess what else he didn't get? He didn't get the girl either. He didn't get the girl either. And see, I know a lot of y'all think that y'all know a lot about music because you only hype beasts. So because you're a Kendrick Lamar fan. No, you don't really understand music. See, I am a fan of all of these people, like of the underground artists, the R&B artists. I really study the history behind a lot of these guys. And I grew up really trying to understand how they looked at things from a business perspective and then seeing how I could apply that to the social media aspect of the game. And so Ryan Leslie came into the game. High praise and accolades. And you know what his one issue was? And I said this on Monday night, is pretty girls ruin lives. And see, because we was on a panel with 10 people, I couldn't really say or get off my real thoughts because it's going to take me a whole hour to be able to do that and articulate it in a way in which y'all really breaking it down and understanding it so that you won't think, oh, Anton don't like women. No, Anton adores women, but Anton understands the reality that we living in. And Ryan Leslie brought a girl into the game and her name just so happened to be Cassie. That's absolutely correct. Young Cassie and young Ryan, Harvard graduate, good guy, business savant, made sure that he really, really understood the music business and then he brought her into the game and Ryan allegedly, according to all of the stories, according to the songs that he wrote and according to some of the interviews that a lot of people are not even familiar with, was in love with a Cassie. Mmm. Ain't this a tragic story? Listen, this is made for TV. Forget the Diddy story. The real story is the Ryan story. Because Ryan loved her, according to multiple different sources, allegedly, of what was going on out in the streets. Ryan loved her so much so to where he did the best thing for her. He put his all into her. He even put his own musical career on the back burner in order to make sure that she got the hit. She got the music. He promoted her. He was in love with this girl. That was his girl. Ryan and Cass. But pretty girls ruin lives. And pretty girls always get the money. And they get the sympathy. And everybody forgets about the nice guy. See, they don't like me. And the reason why it's so difficult for people to really have a, you know, real conversation with me is because I'm a deep dive all the way into it. I don't care about the surface level stuff. I only care about the truth. And Ryan allegedly loved Cassie. But guess what Cassie loved? According to her choices, Cassie loved success. And success is often tied to other men that may not be a Ryan because Ryan, as good as he was, may not have been good enough. And this is the story of so many women that we see on a daily basis. Maybe not as high as a puff. Maybe they don't get as high as a Ryan Leslie. But every single day we see women make these same decisions on a regular basis and they walk away from the good guy. But by the end of this conversation, I'm going to help you to understand how he won. And see, this is the part where we think that we got it wrong. We say that nice guys finish last. No, that's because you playing a short game, big dog. Nice guys finish first. Because the race isn't given to the swift, it's given to he who endures to the end. So did Ryan really dodge a bullet because pretty girls ruin lives? Or did Ryan really lose? And that's up for you to debate. That's for up, up to you to decide once we're done with this live stream. But the reality is, in the interim, 
in the moment, because they didn't know what they didn't know, and we didn't know what they was going to get themselves into, Puff had already had a reputation that preceded him. Puff never married none of the women that he was with. Puff was largely known as a dude that was in the industry frolicking, having freak-offs way before Cassie. Everybody had already said who Puff was and what they was. So when y'all make this decision to get with these guys, please miss me with the bullshit when you say, oh, I didn't know who he was. Well, who? if we all knew who he was, Jennifer Lopez knew who he was. She ain't even saying shit. Hey, somebody get Jennifer Lopez on the line and ask her what it is that she experienced with Diddy. Don't nobody want to talk to Jennifer no more? Oh, I forgot. She over there hanging out with Ben. Jennifer can't even keep Ben because according to the reports, they saying that they split up. <laughs> Come on, man. We going we gonna to untangle this spider web that we call culture, that we call life. Jennifer was with Puff when Puff was shooting in the club, allegedly. When Shine had to do the time, when the locks was throwing chairs, when everybody was on the East Coast, West Coast, when they were saying that 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 Puff was slapping niggas up, when he allegedly had Wale with the bodyguard shaking his pockets out, getting all the loose change because he was out here in the streets. And when Kid Cudi was getting his fucking car blew up, you telling me you didn't know who he was? Everybody in the world knew that Puff was a gangster. This ain't new news. Y'all acting like y'all didn't understand what it really was. Puff, the only nigga that survived the East Coast, West Coast beef. Everybody fucking fucked up. Suge Knight, the nigga that they had the most, that had the most fear on the whole West Coast, that nigga done. Pac is done. Big is done. Black Rob is done. G Depp is out here just getting out of jail. Loon and then turned into a Muslim. Mace had to turn to God. Mark Curry is over there doing carpentry. He the only nigga to survive the whole ordeal. Nigga from the 90s. From the early 90s, the late 80s. This nigga got a Howard commencement honorary doctorate. He the, Listen, you know who Puff is? Puff is Jack Nicholson from The Departed. Puff is Jack Nicholson from The Departed. Everybody know this nigga is a gangster. This nigga, the puppet master, he controlling everything. We all know who the fuck Puff is. It ain't never been a secret. Everybody he came into the game with. Eventually, they all fall. Everything around you fall. So there is no misunderstanding of what we getting ourselves into in the same way that we see women every single day associate themselves with the nigga that they know ain't best for him. You know that nigga is out there with them venereal diseases. You know he got other chicks. You know he the dope boy. You know he gonna do some time eventually. He gonna go down for that shit. You just praying to God that you not in the car with him when he get... Because you know who you dealing with. No woman as wise as y'all say that y'all are because it's all out in the open. As wise as y'all say that y'all are, how do you miss everything when it comes to always picking the wrong guy? You with the right guy because women like Cassie, they never single. 